My name is Chris Krohn, and if you've watched me on social media, you know that I've figured out how to buy a lot of single family homes. Over the last 20 years, I've done $2 billion worth of 6,500 single family projects, and the majority of them have ROIs that range from 25% up to 35% and beyond. And if you think about that kind of performance, you could take a meager amount of money from like a 401k or an IRA and literally turn it into millions of dollars. At some point, people watch my social media and they reach out and they're like, Chris, tell me about this partnering thing. Like, what is it and how does it work? And I made this short video that basically explains all of the ins and outs because it may be the perfect solution for you to get your money finally working to you and helping you build that multi-million dollar retirement that you want at the end of the day. Enjoy. Hey, what's up? Chris Crone here, and I wanna thank you for watching this video. So check it out. You've been jamming with a member of my team and exploring the possibility of what it actually looks like to partner with me. After all, I'm doing something very unique, something very different, and I don't have any competitors. I don't have anyone that was either dumb enough or smart enough to take on this challenge that I've picked up. You see, real estate has made me so much money, and when I learned how to build my portfolio really big, and other people started asking me, can you teach me? Here's what I learned. It's very difficult to duplicate what I do. So early on, I started partnering with people saying, well, let's just do it together. And the ROIs over the years have grown so significantly, stuff I'm gonna to cover today, that now it's just become really popular. You see, there's a lot of people that just say, you know, shouldn't you have graduated to like multifamily real estate like Grant Cardone does, Chris? Shouldn't you be doing skyscrapers and larger real estate? And one of the things that I've learned is that if you really care about your financial future, if you care about retirement, if you care about financial freedom, then you should pick the real estate strategy that creates the greatest ROI with the most safety, the greatest return, does the most good and works in up and down markets. That's really what I'm gonna take a few minutes to share with you right now. And I hope this helps you on your journey of really kind of figuring out, do I make sense for you? And also, do you make sense for me? We're gonna get that all figured out in short order here. So, first of all, let's just get really clear on your alternatives. Because most people, when they're preparing for their financial future, they've been told, put your money in a 401k or put your money in an IRA. And that's like retirement money for someday, right? Like when you're 65 and older, you're gonna cash out and you're gonna have all this money for retirement. But check it out. I got my prop here. This is $50,000 in $100 bills. And let's just assume for a moment that you put it in a 401k, an IRA, the stock market. And based on the 30-year blended average, you may not know this, but you're only averaging 6%. So I get it that there are years when it's like, but Chris, I'm up 13%, I'm up 18%, but you also have to take into account the years when you're down 26%. The 30-year average on these type of accounts, specifically 401ks and IRAs, is right around 6%, 5% technically on 401ks. And you were to say, okay, well, maybe 20 years from now I wanna be retired. So my $50,000 sitting in a 401k or IRA, what will happen to it on average? Well, at 6%, you're gonna triple your money. 50,000 is gonna turn into $160,000 in roughly 20 years. And you might be thinking, man, that's fantastic. Like, it was passive, I didn't need to do anything, I'm stoked. Or if you're like most people, you're like, crap. How long is you know, $160,000 supposed to last me? Well, at age 65 right now, these accounts average right around $250,000. And so you might be ahead of the curve, you might be behind the curve, but one thing is certain is that when you retire, most people are spending about $80,000 a year. So if you retire with, call it $250,000 and you spend eighty dollars to $90,000 a year, that's basically three years of money. So you gotta kinda plan on dying in three years after you retire, which is a little morbid. Instead, it's like, okay, is there an alternative? In real estate, I don't touch deals unless I can make 25% projected or more. And 25% is a lot bigger number than 6%. And the question is, how does my 50K perform at 25% versus the previous slide at 6%? Well, it doesn't triple and grow into 160,000. What it does is it grows 27 times bigger and grows to $4.3 million. Now, if you think about the difference between 160 grand or a quarter million and $4.3 million, that's the difference between there's no way I can retire and I can totally retire. 
Now, even though this is what I like to shoot for, let me show you what I've been averaging the last few years. It's not 25%, it's 34%. And so you might be thinking, okay, Chris is getting good at this game. Going back to that example of commercial real estate, skyscrapers, multifamily, Chris, why aren't you doing those? The answer is because I can't get 25%, let alone 34% out of them. And so I stick with the game and scale the game on all of these properties that produce the highest ROI. My same $50,000 at 34% doesn't turn into $4.3 million. It turns into $17.4 million. And so if you look at that, it's like, oh my gosh, financial freedom is not about playing it safe. It's not about 401ks and IRAs. I've got to find the safest way to get a higher ROI. And today I'm gonna to make the argument out of anything I've ever invested in that if I had to take the stock market in any way, shape or form, a mutual fund 401k IRA, or compare it to what I know how to do in real estate, not only does real estate make me more money, but for me, it's a whole lot safer. And you might find that in the next few minutes to be true, because really the big part on why I'm shooting this video in the first place is because if you are seriously contemplating or a member of my team really thinks that you should contemplate partnering with me, Here's the reality. I can't partner with everybody. I have limited resources. I have a limited number of good deals. So I really want to partner with someone that understands what partnering really is and who better to explain that to you than me. So let me kind of break it down for you. By the way, real estate, it outperforms your traditional retirement 27 to one. That's if we hit 25%. If we hit 34%, it's a lot bigger than that. And you might be thinking, okay, Chris, like, what does that mean? Well, in 2020, I purchased this home with Kai and his wife. We did $106,000 of gains in 17 months. You take a look at this one that I did with Laurie and Brent Swayze, and in 23 months, we made $118,000. Again, it looks like a very basic single family home. Uh, this is one I did with Ron and Sarah, and we did $108,000 of gains in 32 months. And so these are examples of what happens to real estate when you're growing at these higher ROIs. Now, I am gonna give you the details on how partnering works because I want you to hear it from me and then you can decide, hey, is this something I really wanna consider? And then I'm gonna share with you what I need from you so that you can know whether I wanna work with you, which is why you're talking to a member of my team because every week I train them specifically on what I'm looking for and what I'm not. Now, the whole reason why I'm doing this, this has gotta be the biggest question that I get from my potential partners like, Chris, I'm a nobody, bro. You got 10.3 million views on your social media last week. Like, why would you want to invest in real estate with me who's a stranger? Well, I actually want to break that down for you and I want to help you understand it. So, 2008 was the first opportunity that I had after years of being in real estate to do something in a really big, exciting way. You remember the big crash, the Great Recession? When the market came down, a lot of homes went back to the banks because people didn't have my investing rules. I didn't lose any of my real estate, but a lot of people had lost theirs. So guess what happened? I went to the markets that had overbuilt too much real estate because the value of a home is what someone's willing to pay. And when there's too many homes and not enough buyers, then no one's willing to pay for those homes, in which case the market drops and then they lose value. Well, I was buying these brand new three and $400,000 homes out of Vegas or Phoenix in Florida. I was buying them between $100,000 and $150,000. Now, just to build them alone would cost $100,000 more than that, so I knew what already was gonna happen. The market was gonna slow down for a few years, it was gonna drop, and then eventually, um, we would make enough babies and have enough people migrating and immigrating that the homes would all get used up. All that surplus inventory would be gone, and then it would be time to build again. And the house I bought for $120,000 that cost $220,000 to build, instantly it was gonna to have to go up in value. And you know what? That is exactly what happened. And I had partners then. And after 2008, within five years, we made $100 million in profits. And I got pissed, if I'm being totally honest, because even though I was young and that was my first real big run at real estate, if I had 10X to this, that would have been a billion in profits. And I think that would have been really cool. So I vowed that I would take my partner program more serious and I would get more serious about helping you build wealth so that we could just build it together. And today I'm gonna to break it all down what that looks like. But the reason why I'm doing this 
is because I have multi-billion dollar goals. I also have a foundation with my wife. We just got back from a week in Guatemala helping this orphanage. Before that, we were in Mexico twice last year. We were in Ukraine three times before that. And what our foundation does is we change lives and save lives. We look for people that are in such dire straits that have been trafficked sexually that need help getting out of those situations. And help isn't coming. Like, there's no resources for them. They're literally forgotten. And that's not okay. So I've got big goals, I've got big dreams. And so building more wealth than I need is just a way to rotate it and then give back. And so the game is really simple. If I help enough people get what they want, of course I'm gonna get what I want. And so for me, I don't have to partner with you. Technically, I could be totally content with everything I have in my life. But if I partner with you on all of the homes that are great deals that I can do, that I could do more of if I had your help, all I'm gonna do is build more wealth with this amazing real estate wealth machine. You get rich, I get richer, and together we get to do more good in the world. So that's really why I'm doing this. And what I wanna do right now is kinda of share with you big picture how it actually works. So when partnering with people, my very first partner was my father-in-law. And when I bought my very first house, he kinda of thought I was crazy. And he said, Chris, why are you buying a house? You, I thought you were gonna be a doctor in college and now you have an undeclared major and you just bought a house in a college town. He was confused because he thought that buying a house was something you did after college once you established a career. When I bought my second house, my father-in-law got really concerned. He's like, why do you need two houses? He, he didn't understand. He had never had exposure to real estate investment. He was super traditional in that 401k IRA mindset. He had an MBA from university. So he was thinking super traditional. When I bought my third house, he just kind of wrote me off probably as like a stupid kid that was just throwing caution into the wind and he just didn't understand me. But I was getting ready later to do my fourth house and I got a really weird phone call where he contacted me and said, hey, what are you doing with that real estate thing? And I'm like, well, why would he care? I told him about my ROIs, I told him the money I was making, and once he saw my ROIs, everything shifted and he felt like he was now left, you know, being left out. After all, the first home could have been a fluke, the second home could have been luck, but not the third. So he asked me, well, what are you doing? I said, I'm getting ready to buy my fourth home, and he, this was his idea. How about I put up the money and we partner, and we split the profits 50-50. And I didn't have another option, and I thought, half of the profits was better than none of the profits and I didn't have to come up with the money this time so I said yes and when I did that that's how this model was born that was many many hundreds of partners ago it's been working ever since and I love this model it's so cool because if you have a mission and a purpose and a career and a family and things you want to do with your life and you don't want to become the full-time real estate guru let me be that for you and this is so profitable there's enough money for everybody to win especially since I believe your goals and dreams gotta be as worthy as mine, right? You have fears, I have fears. You have goals, I have goals. And ultimately by coming together, one plus one equals 11, right? That's what partnering is always supposed to mean. It means that you have limited resources and I have limited resources, but if we put them together, we can create something bigger than one plus one equaling two. So here's the way it works. You're the passive partner. You put up money from an IRA, 401k, savings account, or whatever. You help make the big decisions, not the day-to-day. -day. And I go in with my team and we research the markets. So I'm only buying in the top five out of 324 markets. And I do that because half of my crazy high ROI comes from being in the market. That's like, oh man, I wish I could have bought in downtown LA in 1970. Well, that's what I'm doing in the markets that I'm in now is I have forecasted the biggest growth where people are moving and businesses are, are, are booming, but you still have affordability. And in the next two decades, these, these markets are through the roof. So I'm gonna go hang out for five, six, seven years in those markets and we're gonna make crazy good money. Abnormally high ROIs. So I'm gonna research the market, we're gonna find the deals in those markets, we're gonna manage the rehab, the work, we're gonna lease it, we're gonna manage it, then we're going to do the accounting, the taxes, eventually we're gonna sell the house, you know, three, five, seven years later, and then we're gonna take the down payment and the winnings and then put it into more real estate and we're gonna multiply it. And when you do that, it multiplies your ROI. And, I, and I'll show you that in a little bit. So this is big picture partnering. And as far as how it works, there are seven steps that I'm briefly gonna go over with you. First one is step one, meet my team. Step two, find how we're gonna buy properties. Like, can I use your credit or can't I use your credit? Uh, number three, we're gonna review your game plan. Like, all right, 
Like it's, it's time to actually decide this partnership, how we're gonna kick it off. Are we gonna buy three homes? Are we gonna buy one home? Then we're gonna go start finding the deals to get under contract. Then we're gonna set up our LLC and our bank together. Then we're gonna go and buy the home and then I'm gonna continue managing that with my team of 200 experts. So let me break it down and kind of show you what each step looks like. When it comes to meeting me and the team, you get my cell phone. And I know what you're maybe thinking is like, that can't be Chris Crone's real cell phone. But here's the reality. I have a real estate cell phone that is just for my partners. And I'm going to put you on a thread between me and my team and you. And anytime you have a question, I just want you to ping me. Now, my team is really good at aggregating your questions. They'll come to me and then I'll provide like a complete answer if it's a complex question. But the reality is sometimes I might drop you a video or say hi or wish you a happy birthday or you know, have a more critical conversation about our portfolio. So I'm gonna give you access to my phone. You do not get to hand that cell phone out to human beings. Just wanna be clear on that. Uh, then after you're added to that thread, we're gonna spend, a f you're gonna spend a few hours on the first property gathering this is in documents, meeting with my team, and then boom, we're ready to go. It's very turnkey. Each home after that goes faster, but if you have a question, texting is the preferred way that I like to communicate with my partners, and the reality is I'm a little slow sometimes on my partner phone, but my team is also there, and if it's a quickie, they're just gonna jump in and supply an answer for you as well. I hope that makes sense. Step two, we have to find the best path to purchasing properties. In other words, are we gonna do the traditional route like, hey, Crone, um, I've got a pile of money for my down payment. Are we going to qualify for, through a normal bank and use a bank and, and do that? Or I also heard that you have a partner fund where you can avoid credit and do it that way. And here's the reality. If you buy the real estate with my team through an LLC, you maintain control because we own that 50-50. If you buy it in my fund, the ROIs are equivalent, but you're in with a bunch of other people. You lose a little bit of control but then you don't have to worry about credits and bank. They're both really good viable options. And if you partner with me, my team will sit down with you, make sure you understand these options and then help you really figure out what makes the most sense. Inevitably, someone's gonna ask, shoot, Chris, like, do I set up an LLC and do it traditionally or do I do it through the fund? And the reality is they're kind of sixes, but there's little bitty pros and cons. We'll explain them. Bottom line is I have to have a way to transact with you if you have a credit glitch or if the bank has an issue with something stupid, I need to still to be able to move forward. Step three, now it's time to really review the plan, which is, all right, if I'm putting down 20% or 25%, I might need 60 to $90,000 down for that home in those markets. Or if I'm going into the fund, I only need a minimum of $50,000. And what I'm doing in the fund is I'm putting all my partner's money together, we're buying homes cash, so I didn't need someone's credit. And I will sign a personal, well, once we buy it cash, I'm then gonna go back to the banks and do a DCR loan where I'm going to pull up to 60 or 70% of the money out. I'll put my credit on the line, I'll do a personal guarantee, not in your name, and then I'll use the money to buy more homes cash. Does that make sense? We won't go into more details, just know that I've got two different strategies, so there's always a way to transact. Uh, we're gonna buy a home in one of my top markets. We'll never touch anything unless it has that minimum 25% ROI. We're gonna rent it for three, four, five, six, seven years. And then we're gonna sell it and we're gonna multiply the portfolio. Now, this math, my friend, is really important, so please cue in on this. Let's just say that I bought a home and I had a 25% annual ROI. If I sold it in five years and had enough money to buy two, lately it's been like three or four, but let's just say I'm doubling for ease of numbers then I would now be earning 25% on this home and 25% on this home for a total of a 50% ROI. Well, five years later, I sell these two for four homes, but I'm now earning 25% on each of these homes. That's now 100% annual ROI. And of course, if we do this a few more times with 16 homes, I could be earning 400% annual ROI. In other words, this is crazy and the reason why if we buy real estate together, you'll never want to really sell the portfolio and move on is because the ROI gets bigger year after year after year. You could literally, I have homes where I'm earning 1,000% or 10,000% a year on my money. It's so crazy wild, but it's totally true and it's totally real. And the cash flow down the road with the big portfolio that comes off is so big, you would never want to sell your portfolio because all that cash flow is tax-free. 
because we're always uh, depreciating the asset. We're always using the IRS's method to depreciate each of those homes and the depreciation every year is greater than the cash flow, which means the cash flow is always free and there's leftover tax benefits. How cool is that? It's super cool. All right. Um, the compounding effect of money over time, the red line is what happens when you grow it over 20 years at 6%. It's hard to see because it's nothing. Um, if we're growing it at 25%, the green line is substantially higher. If we grow it at 34%, it's crazy. And the reality is we're here to make that money perform through the game of real estate. Step four, we got to get under contract with the right kind of home. Like I said, I only buy in the top five markets out of 324. I keep tabs on macroeconomics, population, migration, business, affordability, median price. We buy below the median and what the median should be. So that means that if the current median is $430,000, it means that I'm currently buying homes between $200,000 and $300,000, usually kind of around $250,000, $280,000. So I'm 30% usually below the median. And what that means is, well, Chris, what happens when the market goes down? Well, first of all, we've already, we read the signs on supply and demand and we're already out long before. It's very easy to predict, right? You understand that as long as you have a lack of homes and there's more people than you have homes, the prices will go up. And when you have more people than demand for homes, the price will then go down. So I track all of these numbers. And in this country right now, we're missing millions of homes. So we are many, many years away from, you know, from a market collapse. But what I'm sharing with you is that I buy below the median because even if the market goes down, guess what that means? Well, that million dollar house is now worth 600,000. That $600,000 house is now worth 400. Well, by the time you get down to my price range, well, that $250,000 house is now worth like 230. Like we are very minimally impacted it. We just keep renting it out. Rents go up. We make even more money. Does that make sense? All right. So we're doing this. And then I rent these homes out to people that make at least $60,000 a year on up. That's actually a little secret sauce formula right there. Because truth is, Tenants that make $60,000 a year or more typically take care of stuff. All you have to do is actually watch what the back seat looks like in their vehicle, and you'll know what I mean. People that make $30,000, $50,000 a year kind of keep junkier cars, and people that are $60,000 on up take pride in ownership. I know it's kind of a gross stereotype, but in the rental market, that's actually served me. Now, here's an example of a home in Orlando that is producing a total ROI of 37.15%. Would I buy this home? Yeah, because this number is above 25%. Here's another one. This home is also in Orlando. I bought this home, um, Myron Oaks, Florida, has a 40.94% ROI. Would I buy this? If it's over 25%, I'm gonna buy it every single time. All right, so the other thing I need you to understand about getting under contract is that this is a business and it has fees associated with it. And there's a couple things that I want you to understand. My team will help you understand there's an upfront cost to be able to kick off the partnership because I have 200 experts that help me do all of this stuff. And you know what? It costs money because it's a real business. But because of bulk, my costs of doing real estate are smaller than everybody else's. Let me show you. I have lower fees across the board because I, and what it does is it creates higher ROIs. So there is a down payment when you buy a home we factor in repair fees, the researchers, the bird dogs, the legal team, um, initiation fees with property managers, etc. There's rehab, accounting, and admin, and all of this stuff costs money. Every time I transact a home with you in my partnership, I charge $4,997. And what that does is that covers all of my team that doesn't collect money any other way. It almost comes out to like minimum wage because I have these 200 experts that are doing all of this in bulk. But if you were to try to do this legwork on your own, all of these things and do it the way I do, I mean, I put 342 hours into every acquisition up front. Most real estate investors don't do that. They're lazy and they don't get as good of a deal because they don't have as much time. But you'd probably pay $12,000 or more to do the equivalent and I can get it done for five grand. And the reason why is because I have professionals and experts and we're doing it in bulk. Now, this, $5,000 fee, acquisition fee on every home that covers 10, 12 plus thousand dollars of legwork, it's for my team of 200 real estate experts, including portfolio managers, employees, researchers, coordinators, rehab contractors. We put in 342 hours on each property up front as acquisition, and this allows everything to be hands-off and turnkey for you, and we just wrap that into the deal, and now your business is working and running and doing its thing. Now, here's the fifth step. 
we're going to set up an LLC. If you used my fund, we don't need an LLC. But if we're buying traditionally with an LLC and with a bank, we're going to set it up, sign the operating agreement. We're going to set up a bank account. I call it a SWAN account. It's a sleep well at night account. This is what we use basically for collecting rent, paying bills. Um, typically, when we do the LLC setup, I like to put $10,000 in the bank as like a minimum amount on that first home. On every home we do after, we usually add another $5,000. That means that I've got enough money sitting in the account to just pay the mortgage and everything, collect rents, pay the mortgage and everything, collect rents. The account over time grows and we're winning in the game. Hope that makes sense. Okay, two more steps. Step six, it's time to buy the property. This usually happens 30 to 60 days after we're under contract. We send a notary to you to sign on the property. You then wire the money for the down payment. We will then deed the property into the LLC that we jointly own. And then we're going to get ready for our next move. Final step, ongoing management. My team is going to oversee third party property managers. This is kind of a cool hack. When I go into a top market, I'm going to find a property manager that is managing about 500 homes. So I don't want to work with the small property manager like the mom and pop shop that have 100 homes. I don't want to work with the big dogs that are managing 8,000. I want to find the one that's doing a great job at 500 because I'm going to add easily within a short period of time another 500 homes to them. I'm going to double the size of their business. And instead of them charging me 10% the normal rate, I can get away with them paying me as little as 8, 7, or even 6%. So all of a sudden my fees come down again because I'm doing real estate in bulk, but something better happens. My property managers treat me like the most important person on the planet because I gave them 500 homes and yours is one or three or five of those homes. And so what that allows me to do is have leverage for them to do an amazing job managing our properties. It takes usually three, four, five weeks to get a property rented. Then I have a full fledged CFO team. They charge $30 a month to do all of the accounting at the highest level on the property. And then basically we handle getting in the good tenants and, and managing everything else. Now that was a lot of information that I've given you in a very short period of time, but this is literally nearly two decades of learning how to do this thousands of times. And I have hundreds of partners that we have crushed it with. And so here's some of the biggest takeaways on why this is really critical right now. We are at a historic all time low when it comes to real estate supply. Like right now there's so many homes that are needed in the market with the demand and it's going to take years to resolve this. But right now prices are going to keep shooting up like nationwide prices are going to go up more during this decade and that's going to supercharge your game plan. So it doesn't need to be a 20 year game plan. It can be a 12 year game plan. It can happen a whole lot sooner. And here is what I would also just add in a few more thoughts as far as the biggest misconception. Biggest misconception when it comes to partnering with me is that you have to have cash and savings. And the truth is I call it hidden assets. Your 401k is a hidden asset. It's like, but Chris, my 401k, that's for my retirement, right? I'm like, yeah, but look at what it's doing. It's not on track to give you squat. Let's access that hidden asset. Or if you have an IRA, let's access that hidden asset. Or you have a stock market now, let's access that hidden asset. You have equity in home, let's talk about accessing that hidden asset. In other words, all I'm doing is what the French economist J.D. Shea taught when he said, creating wealth is just a function of going from low yields to high yields. And that's all we're doing. We're rearranging your money from inefficiencies to something far more efficient. Now, is this for you? There are some questions that you need to ask yourself that are important to me and my team that they're asking you. Number one, do you actually have $50,000 or more in assets to partner with? Because some people come in and they're like, Crone, here's a million dollars. Let's build a big portfolio. And some people are like, I just scrimped and saved 50 G's. That's what I got. Can we partner? So you have, that's the minimum. I want to know this one. Are you open-minded and teachable? Because I'm the expert and you're not. Like, don't feel bad about it, but I don't need to be second-guessed when I publish my track record and you can look at my last several thousand addresses and look everything up and I've made it available to the public because I'm proud of my accomplishment. I need someone that is trainable, teachable, open-minded that says, okay, Chris, you're definitely the shortcut. Why wouldn't I want to learn from someone that has done this thousands of times? Number three, I'm looking for someone that is positively and mentally prepared. It's fun to have partners that are positive. It's kind of a drag when they're negative, kind of like texting me, hey Chris, I saw that it took us five weeks to rent the property. We thought it might take three to five weeks, but it took all five. Like, are you kind of worried about the performance on the home? I'm like, 
We are totally within the range of everything going the way that it's supposed to. Are you being a little bit of a negative Nancy or a Chad? I don't really have a lot of fun with Nancys and Chads. I apologize if that's your real name. Um, but the reality is I want someone who's a little bit more positive and upbeat and someone that really is like, hey, it's a privilege and an honor for me to partner with you, but it's a privilege and honor for you to partner with me that has all this experience. So let's bring some positivity to the game and we'll always face the hard facts and the truth of what we're doing. But I've done this game so much, I already know what all that looks like. Number four, most important to me is good communication. The reason why I give you my celly is because I need you and I to be tight. In other words, I don't do well with passive aggressive people that like to like bottle things up until it's a crucible and then kind of explodes. I'm like, mm -mm, just text me. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't care what the nature of the text is, just be open with me. That, those are the things that I look for. Like, pause, take a picture, do personal inventory, and just ask, like, am I these things? Can I be these things for Chris? That's kind of what I'm looking for. Now, a couple of things that I think will kind of round out this whole conversation, because I want you to understand the details of how it works, what partnering means, and also some really cool bonuses that I want to give you if we partner together. When you look at this 50-50, I want right now to disqualify anyone that has the response I'm about to give you. 50% of the profits go to the partners, and on the left side, the active partner might be saying, dude, this is a total ripoff. I freaking put up all the money and have to give up half of the profit. This is what a DIYer says. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, you're not going to be super happy partnering with me, even though I will outperform you even though I'll make more money than you, there's something in your genetic code that says I'm a lone wolf, I put my head down, I do it all by myself. And if that's you, please don't partner with me. Like, you're not gonna like me and I'm not gonna like you. It's not personal, it's just you should go and do this yourself. However, if you're on the other side saying, whoa, I put up all the money but he does 100% of all the work and he only keeps 50%, Freaking what a steal. This is for my people that uh, belong to my camp of, do it for me. And this is who you need to be if you want to partner with me. And I respect whoever you are here, but in my world, how I build my wealth is by partnering with people. Like I want to be clear, the partnering opportunity that I'm extending to you for you to put your money into real estate with me is no different than what I do in private equity what I do in business, how I get involved in other industries. I find an expert that knows everything. And then what I do is I commit resources to them and we split everything. I've done this in life insurance. I've done this in health. I've done this in a number of fintech industries. I've done this in software. And it is my favorite way to grow wealth because I'm not afraid. It's like this adage of, do you want an entire grape or a slice of a watermelon? What do you think is bigger, an entire grape or a slice of a watermelon. I'm a slice of a watermelon guy. And here I'm basically saying, share half of the watermelon with me and I'll do what you could never do on your own. Now this is important for you to decide who you really are in this. Now if we do partner, let me end with this. What exactly is it that I'm getting involved in? Because when you talk to my team, they're gonna say, hey, there's an upfront fee that you're gonna pay depending on how much real estate you wanna buy out the gate because we have to ignite a certain amount of Chris's team that costs a certain amount of money, and it's a one-time fee. And so they're gonna explain all that to you, and here's what happens if you partner with me then. Well, number one, I want you to understand my partners, our partnership never expires, which means this is a lifetime commitment. Building wealth is a lifetime thing, whether you wanna buy real estate tomorrow, or in six months, or in a year, I'm never going anywhere. Number two, I can make you, I put a promise on my heart, Hope that I stick a needle in my eye. I'll never touch a deal with less than a 25% ROI. And I pride myself in finding deals that are significantly better than that. Part three, you get my cell phone. Do not abuse that, but I want you to use it as much as you want to really be responsive and connected to my team and myself. Step four, credit-free deals. If you're my partner and you can't go through a traditional bank, which is always a great way to start, and there's a credit glitch or because you may be a business owner and you don't look very good on taxable income because you write a lot of stuff off or you had a credit glitch, whatever the reason is, I'm giving you the opportunity to use my private partner fund that is only for my partners, it's exclusively for them, and I can still get you the same ROIs. And then the fifth part is I do have some training I wanna see you at. I have a private partner event. I want you to get in person with me. 
And so multiple times a year, my team will reach out and let you know when I have these events. I want you to get with me because I'm going to train you on real estate. And more importantly, I'm going to train you in the mindset of building a multi-million dollar portfolio. So when we kind of add up all of these five parts of what it means to partner, that it never expires, that we only do deals with minimums of 25% ROI on up, you get my cell phone, we have credit-free deals, and then I've got my live training events. This is really what partnering is. Over here, well, these are some bonuses that I like to throw out because my life's mission and purpose is not real estate. It's creating value and igniting wealth in good people that are going to do good things on the planet like I am with my wife and my family. So I got some bonuses to help you out. And here's the first one. When you partner with me, it comes with no less than a year of mentoring with me. Every week I go live just for my real estate partners and I teach them on everything financial. Like I don't just teach you real estate, I teach you business, I teach you franchise, I teach you stocks, I teach you all the ways that there are to make money. And this is really cool because this mentorship is probably in many situations far more valuable than even the real estate that we're buying because this will change your mindset and change you forever. The second of the five bonuses that I want to give you is that I'm going to introduce you to my mentors who all have money making programs and stuff. And I basically said, you're, my, you're, you're, you're one of my mentors or you're a business partner. I want you to give me all your stuff for free and I want to give it to my partners so that I can show you how to keep amping up your income so that we can buy more real estate and you can also buy other assets. The third bonus is that you're now part of a community of very successful people that live in my camp and we're out there crushing it in real estate. And so I want to introduce you to that team where we get to connect and where we get to be hive minded and where we get to financially grow together. The fourth bonus is that when you actually come out to my event, I'm going to put you in as a VIP, which means front row uh, treatment. It means food at the event and some photo ops and a number of different things. And so I want you to know that when you're at my event, my partners are treated like royalty. And then bonus number five is that if you're married and you have a spouse, all of that mentorship and all of that training, and there's a plus one for everything because your life partner is the person you do life with. And since I'm the partner that's going to grow for life, your real estate portfolio, we're going to all do that together. I want your spouse to be a part of this. You can see that it's really been beautiful for me to build wealth with amazing couples. And so if you have a significant other in your life, I just want you to know that I want them to be a part of this amazing journey together. And when we add all of this up, this is over $250,000 worth of value. So when you talk to my team, they're going to give you, you know, you know, what the fee is to get started and step into this whole world with me, but it is a very, very small price to gain and access my whole world, all of my knowledge, everything that I do, and now we can build and grow wealth together. So my final thought here is are you teachable? Are you open-minded? Are you committed? Because in a moment you're going to be reaching back out or getting back in touch or scheduling your next meet up with my team to really figure out what you want to do. And I hope that today's video created clarity for you and got you really in the know on what it means to partner with me. Here's my final thought. Why do you want to partner with me? Is it selfish? Don't take it the wrong way, but is it like selfish? Like, well, Chris, I have a family and I want to take care of them. That's beautiful. But I want to be clear. My goal is to build more wealth than you need so that your loved ones and your family can see you being generous. They can see you doing your version of philanthropic work, or they can see you also beautifully taking them on trips you wouldn't have otherwise. If you have really big dreams like I do, and you want to impact the world along with your family, then I want you to know I would love to partner with you. My team knows ultimately what I'm looking for to know whether it's a win, but I'm a dreamer, and I want you to know that I'm looking for you if you've got a heart that feels called to a greater mission, this is an incredible way to have something grow for you that one day you'll look back on it and get shocked and say, oh my gosh, look at what this has grown into. Look at how it's compounded. And I'll be happy for you. I'll be happy for me. You're helping me achieve more of my goal and my dream of becoming a multi-billionaire. And to get there, I'm doing that by helping you get a piece of that too. So thank you, my friend, for spending the time with me. Love and appreciate you. Wish you the very best as you get back with my team. Good luck. If you're a financial earnest seeker and you've really been trying to figure out how to get some of that retirement 
performing for you. If you've been trying to figure out how do I finally get the kind of money that I want in retirement or how do I make the money sooner so I can retire sooner or I can live more of the life that I feel called to live. All of that is found in the link below. All you have to do is submit your name, your phone, your information, and a member of my team that I've personally trained is gonna reach out to you and they're gonna give you a custom Chris Crone game plan. And if they really think that you're gonna be a good fit as one of my partners, they'll be texting me, sending me your information and your profile, and I'm gonna help make that decision. So that if you become a partner, you actually do get my cell phone, we get to start building a relationship, and we get to start building that financial future you've always dreamed of. Click the link right now below, get yourself started, and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, Chris, in theory, I think I understand how this whole partnering works, but if you wanna actually see what it looks like as I meet with a couple and as I help them build their portfolio, click right here and let me show you how I help them build their portfolio of their first several homes using this exact same system.